Well, calls for cutting the funding of Boston police. A march organized by a Black Lives Matter group taking that message today down Tremont Street. The mayor's budget approved today will move $12 million from the city's police overtime to social services. But as WBZ's Nick Emmons reports, critics say that's not quite enough. The mayor says his budget is strong and responsible, but some city councilors say it doesn't go far enough. And I feel like we could have done better for the people. It was an emotional debate over the mayor's $3.6 billion budget. For whom this budget does not go nearly far enough in meeting this moment. The vote comes after weeks of protests calling for drastic change, including police defunding. Justice. After hours of debate, the mayor's revised budget passed by a narrow 8 to 5 margin, diverting 12 million from police overtime to public health programs. But city councilor at large Julia Mejia, who was one of the five councilors to vote no, says that's not nearly enough. They're not really going to feel the dents of this. And if we were really serious about the type of changes that we needed, we needed to take a bigger chunk of that change. Supporters say the budget makes critical investments that would be lost if the budget wasn't passed and saves jobs. Councilor Lydia Edwards reluctantly voted yes. I'm not willing to treat those workers as cannon fodder. In a statement, Mayor Walsh says, with this budget, we are making investments that are grounded in equity and inclusion and will have the greatest benefit to our residents. For protesters on the streets calling for more change, today's vote is a small step in the right direction. We are really making significant change. Amber Henry's brother DJ was killed by a police officer in New York State in 2010. DJ Henry! His name is on a growing list that has inspired a movement. We really are making a statement, and I think we need to keep it up and keep it going because this this will be for the for the long haul. And the head of the Ways and Means Committee has vowed to file public hearings in the coming weeks to discuss police funding and policies. In Boston, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. Nick, thank you.